Good morning and happy Friday to you, Kelly. Yeah, so you can actually pull up and drive through at one of these six drive through locations with the Cincinnati Hamilton County Public Library. And in essence, you can drop off a book and pick up a take home COVID test. So WLWT is the first news organization in town to show you these kits in the basement of the library on standby, ready to go. So this statewide initiative is with the Ohio Department of Health and the Ohio Library Council. And together, they purchased 4 million kits with funds from the CARES Act. Cincinnati Public Library received 4,000 Abbott kits locally this week and plans to order more as needed. So the test is comparable to a rapid test where you can get your results and get this 15 minutes, but I'm told these tests are less invasive. Now you can either download an app to use telehealth services or call the number on the kit to find out your results. Well, I'm hearing more and more that people need a regular uh, COVID test, be it for work, uh, be it for a school uh, or education program. Um, so we're happy to provide that convenience and that kind of consistent consistency moving forward as we look at what uh, how the pandemic will change and evolve with the along with the vaccine. The goal here is equity when it comes to accessing for testing. Then we're told that you can begin to pick up those testing kits sometime early next week. And here's the thing, you don't need an appointment in order to pick one up and they're free. Reporting live, Mayor Vistats, WLWT News 5. And Meredith, you mentioned there were six locations announced. Can you give examples of more drive through locations for people? Yeah, so we do want to remind you that you can still drop off books like normal. It's not like these are just for take home tests. We do want to let you know a couple more sites where this is going to be happening. Again, we're told early next week, and that includes Anderson, Harrison, and Reading. Back to you. All right, Meredith Stutz reporting for us downtown this morning. Meredith, thank you.